Bob Johnson, assistant brewer, Grizzly Peak Brewing Company. Brewing beer started out as a hobby for me. I've been brewing for the last decade, but only the last year and a half have I been a full-time commercial brewer. Here at Grizzly Peak, we typically have at least 10 beers on tap. We have five that we do year round. Our Victor's Gold, which is a Kolsch, the Steelhead Red, which is our Amber Ale, the Urban War Bear IPA, uh, the Bear Pop Porter, and what I just made today and what's in the tank behind me, the Shearwater IPA. And then a rotating plethora of another five beers. What has surprised me the most about brewing is that it is not much different than cooking in your kitchen. While there is a lot of science behind it, if you can follow a recipe, you can make good beer. Beer consists of four main ingredients. You have water, yeast, barley, and hops. The malted barley gives you your sweetness and hops gives you your bitterness. The yeast ferments it all and gives you your alcohol. So we start by taking the malted barley, mixing it with water. Enzymes in barley at certain water temperatures take the starches in the barley and turn them into sugars. And that leaches out into the water. We then take that water, run it off into a, a kettle and start boiling it. So that's where we're getting all of our sugars for the yeast to ferment. We typically boil it for about an hour. And throughout that hour, we're adding in hops here, there, and the types of hops we use and when we add them create a bunch of different flavors. People who tend to do well in the brewing industry are people that don't mind getting dirty and they realize that it's not all a glamorous profession. Uh, people who have been in the industry for a little bit call ourselves glorified janitors because most of what we do is cleaning. <laughs> the way people look at beer has definitely changed. It's gotten from just drinking your basic Pilsner that you get in a can and it's drinking beer is a hobby and it's not just people trying to get drunk. There's just so many new flavors and tastes and it's a whole hobby just finding the next good thing. My favorite beer that I've made uh, actually just went off tap. I found a recipe from 1923 in London, England and made a version of that. So trying to see historically what people outside of the US were drinking while we were suffering through prohibition. I decided to brew beer because I was given a homebrew kit and we tried it out and it just, it's one of those hobbies that you either love it or you hate it and I ended up loving it. <laughs>